chemical properties of metals. Reaction of metals with oxygen. Metals react with oxygen to form their oxides. Metal plus oxygen gives metal oxide. For example, reaction of magnesium, which is a metal, with oxygen. Take a strip of magnesium metal ribbon, which would be 4 inches long, and a lighted burner. Hold the piece of magnesium metal ribbon in a pair of tongs. Take the magnesium metal ribbon in the hottest part of the flame. It will soon catch fire and emit a very bright light. Magnesium burns in air with dazzling white light. When magnesium is burnt in air, it forms magnesium oxide. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide forms magnesium hydroxide in water. Solution of magnesium oxide turns red litmus paper blue. This means magnesium oxide is basic in nature. Magnesium oxide plus water gives us magnesium hydroxide. Reaction of iron metal with oxygen. When iron reacts with moist air, it forms rust. Rust is iron oxide. This is why articles made of iron get rusted in the presence of moist air. Iron plus water plus oxygen gives us iron oxide which is also known as rust. Rust which is iron oxide is reddish brown in color. Iron oxide is basic in nature. It turns red litmus blue. Reaction of metals with water. Most metals react with water to form metal hydroxides. Metal plus water gives us metal hydroxide. Reaction of sodium metal with water. Sodium metal is always stored in oil as reacts vigorously if exposed to moisture. The experiment should be carried out behind a clear safety barrier or at a distance from the students as it is dangerous. Take a piece of sodium not larger than a pea, very small quantity, stored in the oil with the help of tongs. Dry the small piece of sodium metal on a filter paper. Take a 250 milliliter beaker filled halfway with water. Drop the piece of sodium into the water. Keep distance as the reaction is vigorous. Sodium metal reacts very vigorously with water to form sodium hydroxide along with hydrogen with lots of heat. Reaction of potassium with water. Potassium metal vigorously reacts with water and forms potassium hydroxide along with lots of heat. Potassium plus water gives us potassium hydroxide plus hydrogen plus heat.
reaction of metals with dilute acid reaction of zinc with dilute acid metals give salt and hydrogen gas when they react with dilute acid metal plus acid gives us salt plus hydrogen gas take a small beaker and fill it with 30 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid you need to be cautious while handling acids take a cylinder filled with water upside down in a tub also filled with water before placing the cylinder into the water kindly ensure that no bubbles of air enter it now you can take small piece of metal which would be zinc and put it carefully in the beaker and ensure that the lid is securely fastened so that no gases can escape shake the container to make the reaction take place more quickly observe how zinc which is metal reacts with acid which is sulfuric acid zinc gives hydrogen gas along with zinc sulfate when it reacts with sulfuric acid zinc plus sulfuric acid gives us zinc sulfate plus hydrogen hydrogen gas is liberated in the tube fitted upside down in the tub filled with water reaction of sodium metal with dilute acid similarly sodium gives hydrogen gas and sodium chloride when reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid sodium plus hydrochloric acid gives us sodium chloride plus hydrogen reaction of metals with base most of the metals do not react with bases few metals such as aluminium zinc and lead react with strong base to produce compound of that metal and hydrogen gas metals give hydrogen gas when they react with a base metal plus base gives us hydrogen gas reaction of aluminium metal with sodium hydroxide aluminium metal forms hydrogen gas and sodium aluminate when it reacts with sodium hydroxide aluminium plus sodium hydroxide in the presence of water gives us sodium aluminate plus hydrogen gas similarly zinc gives sodium zincate and hydrogen gas when it reacts with sodium hydroxide 